Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video will be doing that set. So keep on watching and welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to my current subscribers. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment below what you think about it, what you want me to, to see in my video, our videos going forward. Comment anything you like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. So as you saw previously I used a flame bit to lift the cuticles. Now I'm using the taper diamond bit to remove any excess protein on the nail and a little of the shine from the nail. I think I will still use my 80 grit hand file to take off any extra excess of sheen of the nail. Yes, there we see it. Now I'm going in with my favorite cuticle scissors to remove any excess cuticle and not all the time we need to remove cuticle if the client doesn't have any to remove we don't remove it so only remove what needs to be removed there's nothing to go I leave it as is and continue with my application so um dehydrator so i'm applying my dehydrator to dry out any oils in the nail then i apply my primer gel primer to my client's nail to further adhere the product to the nail so it's two coats of primer So keep on watching to see how I apply the tips now. So I apply a very light amount of um, gel, extended gel on the nail before I apply the tips. And then I freeze with the mini lamp before I give it the full care it needs after I've done all five fingers on each hand. That's how I do it. So we did that on each hand, so keep on watching.
Now we're going to remove any spill of gel. Sometimes it's spilled to the sides. And make sure that it is flush to the cuticle as well. So I'm going in with my 5-in-1 carbide bit to seal in the corners of the tips and then I'm going to use my buffing block for the surface but my hand file is a 180 hand file to smooth out the shape of the nail so that's what I'm doing now and then using my buffing block to rough up the edge the top surface of the nail before I polish So now I'm polishing with a Beetle Gel Polish brand. I think the node is 274A274. I'm trying to find my black color. I'm, I'm, I'm unable to find it back when I made that purchase on Amazon. I bought it on Amazon. And I cannot find it back. Even in my previous purchases, I cannot find it back. And it is on the last. I have used that polish so hard. It is on the very end of finishing. And I need to replace that polish. It's everyone's favorite. I need to replace it. So, she wanted it to be as natural as possible. And a natural French look. So, keep on watching guys. So these days the French is hand drawn French. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing my best to give her what she wanted. I had a previous post of a French, she wanted it that deep, so that's what we're doing now guys. I'm giving the client what she needs or what she wants and the French design. So keep on watching. And comment how you do your French. Do it hand drawn or is it by acrylic or some other means? Let me know how you want how you do your French designs. So my client wanted it oh, some more the French. So that's what we're doing now, giving it another level. Height on the nail. She wanted to put some more to show more of the tip. So that's what we're doing now.
there we have it guys in completing our friend set thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye